Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Craft and Chat Thursday with Debbie Moore. How has everybody been? It's Thursday again. Doesn't it come around so quickly? I know we had happy hour on Monday and now it's Thursday. I have so much in store for you tonight. You know, get your little pen and paper. Uh, although there isn't actually a dimensional technique on here, on tonight's show I'm sharing some really good top tips when it comes to mixed media. And look at the display. We have got some fabulous samples and Dave has a little treat in store for you because he's actually figured out a way so he can actually show you them in more detail because as you can imagine there's so much on here and there's loads of you already joined me oh my goodness let me just see they've all gone crazy i have got kim i've got sue i've got heather jane sharon heather karen jackie janet fiona manda karen uh jenny manda iris chrissy i have also got betty sandra mary nicola pat wow loads of you on tonight isn't there uh, did I say Betty? Well, I'm saying Betty again if I hadn't. I've got Tracy. I've got Philip going, hello, all. But he's got a four in the, uh, instead of an E. But I guess I know that's what you're saying. I've got Anne saying, hi, Debbie and Dave, and everybody hope you had all a lovely day. Did you, did you have it lovely and mild? It was really, although it's cold and chilly today, it was very mild and I just, I love spring and I was just seeing a little sneak peek of what's to come. It was lovely. I've got Dawn, I've got Valerie, I've got Carol, I've got Victoria, Bab, Rosemary. Wow. And then, uh, oh, Tracy said there's an echo. I can actually hear myself as well. It's coming from over there, Dave. Just so you know. I think he's got so many gadgets on everybody, so just bear with us. I've got Julie, I've got Teresa, I've got Margaret, Mariam. Uh, Amanda says you're echoing as well. So we're just, I think, one of the appliances over there is got the sound on and that's what's coming through because i can hear it okay let's have a look so i have also got jules and roberta on youtube i have got sadia i'm going to keep on talking so dave can hear it because i don't think he can i can hear it i think it might be your phone i'm going to be speaking Okay, no, but there we go. So I've got Barb, I've got Belinda, I've got Tina. Uh, Lynn says I look fabulous in pink, thank you. I've got Cheryl. Yes, she says we're echoing as well. I think it's because there is actually about four gadgets that I'm seeing from phones to videos to even um, cameras. And ja everybody's saying I've got an echo. So I think, what about now everybody? Is it all gone? No, I can even hear it. <laughs> I've got Mia, I've got Lynn, uh, I hope everybody's well, I've got Betty, I've got Anna, I've got Julie, no, is, I think the echo is still here, can you tell me if you can hear it out there, let me just get to the front, right okay, oh it stopped Debbie says, brilliant, oh thank you, see, I thought we had no technical issues tonight, but Dave's fixed it. He's been on it. So who haven't I said hello to? Because there's loads of you. Um, I have got Anna uh, saying, uh, <laughs> good evening, Debbie. Looking forward to the show for the second installment. I feel spoiled. Oh, bless you. I've got Kelly. I've got Karen. Oh, my goodness. I've got Helen, Debbie. I've got Eric says, oh, hi, Val from Ellie. <laughs> I have got Tina and Harry joined us. I've got Ruth. I've got Pearl saying hello. It's gone crazy. I've got Anne, Denise, Sue, Carol. Wow. I've got Janet's just joined us uh, saying hi, Debbie and Dave. I'm crafting family from North Carolina. I've got Shirley. She, I have got Wendy. Uh, where are we? Karen, Barbara, Marianne. It's one of those competitions. I'm trying to read them as quick as I can. I've got Helen. She's happy to watch your live for a uh, live show for a change. Oh, bless you. Um, I've got uh, Shadia joining us from Canada. Oh, tower. Hopefully, I said that. Not degrees. Um, and then Tina. And then I've always got more people. I've got Mandy, Elaine. I have also got Denise just joined us over at YouTube. Pauline. I've got Karen, Susan, Gabrielle. Wow. I've got Yvonne says, Hi, Debbie and Dave. We've been to a funeral this afternoon, so looking forward to a bit of light relief. Well, sit down, relax, and hopefully, I can give you some inspiration on mixed media. Uh, Anita says, sorry, Debbie, hope you are well, and Dave, of course. <laughs> yes, we're both well. Um, since you came on, you've frozen six times. What is it with Facebook? Oh, bless you, Anita. Well, hopefully it goes, we just, 
hopefully it stopped freezing. I seem to be okay here at the moment. Um, I have got Wendy just joined us. Everybody's telling me that the echo's gone, which is brilliant. Holly's joined us. Uh, and where are we? Who haven't I said hello to? I've got Pamela. And I think uh, Betty says, never tried mixed media, so looking forward to tonight. Oh, you're in for a treat, Betty, because I am so hooked with mixed media. And when you see how easy it is, don't, you're going to have so much fun with it. I've got Adelaide just joined us. I have, uh, Anne says, the echoing has gone on her phone. Chris has just joined us. Linda says, hi, from a very cold Cambridge, made it. You keep freezing up, stop, start, evening, Debbie, Dave and the crazy gang. Well, it must be Facebook, everybody, so just bear with us. Um, okay, got Kirsty just joined us. I have got, um, where are we? Where, uh, Wendy says I keep freezing. Hopefully, Wendy, I'm back. I've got Kel just joined us. Uh, and then I think that's lovely. Lynette says, loving the beautiful items display behind you. Everything okay now? No echo. Dave saves the day. He certainly does, everybody. So I um, thank you for letting me know that it's all stopped. Chris says, I had the echo, but no comments. All fixed now, though. <laughs> Susan says, hi, Debbie. It's my first time joining the show, but I've been watching for ages. Love it. Thanks for all the inspiration. Oh, Susan, welcome to my crazy world. And I tell you what, tonight you're in for a treat because it's mixed media. And I know some people just really go away from mixed media. But when I share with you some top techniques that you can take your card making into, mixed media you're going to all be addicted as much as I have and the beauty about tonight's show it's all about inspiration you don't need to buy anything just enjoy the ideas that I'm going to share with you we have card making on as you can see you've got canvases I'm going to share with you the four stages of mixed media so you can see where you can have a go from and I bet you all can do it I have got Robbie joined us from Brisbane Australia hi Robbie I've got Karen I've got Brenda and Margaret says Dave is a right handy man he is isn't he uh, right, okay. Um, everybody's like, wow, lots of people on internet. Well, that's because they want to have a look at mixed media. I have got Sandra says, hi, I have two daffodils out in my front garden. Been out since just after Christmas and still going strong. I haven't seen them anywhere else. Sandra, that's amazing. I haven't seen a single one anywhere. Uh, I've got Beverly just joining us. Hope all is well. It's freezing here in Cardiff, she says. Hopefully the session will warm me up. I hope I can put a little smile to your face, Beverly. I've got Roxanne just joined us. Uh, and I have got Liz saying hi. Debbie and Dave and the Crafting family. Hope everybody's well. And I really sincerely hope you've all had a good week. With all our ups and downs, the world is a bit crazy, isn't it, at the moment? But it's nice that we all can actually have one thing in common. We're all best friends because we're all crazy about craft. Uh, and you know what? That's what I love about these shows. It cheers me up. Never mind. Hopefully I cheer you up a little bit. I'll make you smile. We'll make you laugh. And you just have some time out from the crazy world out there. Uh, I've got Angela just joined us. I've got uh, Wendy says, I'm watching you on TV on YouTube, but you are also on my iPad so I can comment. Wow, Wendy, that is super organized. Um, I have got Roll from Germany say good evening. I have... Um, Sandra saying, hi, Debbie Dave, taking a break from making my quilt to watch the Lure lovely show. Oh, bless you. I've got Alison. I've got Sharon says, happy Thursday, Crafty Peeps. I love that. Uh, and Tina's loving mixed media. I've got Linda joined us saying, hi, Debbie. It's Linda from Billingham in Teesside. That's just up the road from here. Kaya says, we've got a beautiful 69 degrees in sunshine in Gunton. Oh, I can never pronounce that. Sorry, Kaya. Gunton, Georgia, near Savannah. Wow. Now, 69 degrees. Is that the one where you minus something and half it? I've forgotten. Is it minus 30? <gasps> My grandfather taught me this, and he only taught it for me last year, I think it was. So you take, so 69 degrees, you take 30 off, so that's 39 degrees, divide it by two, so that is 19 and a half. 19 and a half. So this is about 20 degrees centigrade. You didn't expect to have a maths lesson now, did you? <laughs> Uh, I have got Sue just joined us. I've got Lorraine. Uh, I have got Gaynor. Oh my goodness, I've got Susan. There's so many of you on tonight. Uh, and I have got Anne just joined us. Sophie, Daryl, uh, Margaret. Linda says, problems tonight. Keep freezing, but out and back in. No better. It'll like watching a Norman Collier. I don't know what a Norman Collier is, Linda. 
Oh, Dave just told me it's a comedian from the 80s. He's, and he's laughing, he's, by the way. He used to pretend he had a broken microphone. Oh, apparently he used to pretend that you had a broken microphone. There you go. He's full of wisdom. Uh, but don't forget, I was brought up in Spain. So he hates the fact that I don't know any of the 80s, that I only far, I kind of only came on the scene in the 90s. Uh, um, I've got Janet says, not feeling very well today, got a bad headache. Well, um, I'm sorry to tell you, Janet, that I'm a little bit hyper. So hopefully I don't make your headache worse. Hopefully I can make you smile and you can just relax. I have got, um, Anne says, she's typing on, the, on her phone, but watching on YouTube. I've got loads of you doing that. Um, Chris says, I've never done mixed media. I was thinking of trying embossing paste with stencils. Uh, are you covering that? I'm not covering embossing paste. I'm not doing that tonight, but I can put it on my list of things to do in the future. Um, Karen's loving the images behind us. Chris has joined us and hi, Debbie. Oh, and David. Oh, well, David. Sorry, Dave, you've got your Sunday name and everybody looking forward to another enjoyable evening. Uh, I've got Nicholas saying hello. Sandra says, I, a lot of mine are too, but the ones in the front must be shelter spot. Oh, we're on about daffodils. I couldn't work out where we were. Uh, I have got Debbie Wyckoff from the USA is so excited because she's made it live. Hello, Debbie. Pauline has made it. I've got Michelle. Wow, loads of you are definitely on tonight. I've got Elaine, Julie. I have got... Uh, Heather says she's got her headphones on as her, he's asleep as he's lol, been working hard, bless him, yes. Especially with my hyper voice, you want to put the earphones on. I've got, um, Daryl says, love mixed media. I've had a good, uh, I've had a good no, oh, you've had a good no chemo this week and I feel much better. It's going to be really cold here tonight. Well, you know, just take it easy and relax. Uh, Elaine says comments keep disappearing. Well, Elaine, I can see your comments, so I'm not too sure what that means. Um, I'll just, I would just, Facebook, you know, is a law unto itself. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it has issues. Um, Victoria says, how's your back, Debbie? Hope you've not been overdoing it. I have to be honest with you, Victoria. I am feeling totally fine today. And that's because, remember last Thursday, no, Monday, get the right day. Um, I was telling you how bad my back was. So since then, I've been over, been overprotected. Well, I should say everybody's been made, carrying everything. So I've just been not lifting boxes or anything. So that's the trick, just taking it easy. I obviously must have swollen one of my slip discs with overdoing it. So I am taking it much easy. Thank you for asking. I've got Sarah Marie Wilson joined us. I've got June. Um, I've got answers to all the people who are watching but don't join in, just think of the free downloads you have missed out. <laughs> Please join in and you're just one big, happy, crazy gun. Oh, bless you, Anne. But you are so true. You know, this is, a, this is community for you guys. We started this just, I think, after lockdown, when lockdown just started. And, you know, we've been going strong. You know, I have hundreds upon hundreds of people that joined us over the last, is it two years, year and a half? I think, two years I think in March I think that's when it is and you know I love meeting every Thursday I feel like I'm going to my own big international craft group every week and you know the whole idea is you chat you ask questions I'll try to answer we'll do demonstrations you really really do not have to buy anything I always say this every week and yes there is a prezi for everybody because I like to spoil you you know what I'm like I've got, um, <laughs> Betty says, we'll learn new things from including maths. That's so true. I have got, uh, Philip says, you must have seen loads of repeats from the 80s. Actually, Philip, I don't. I haven't because they do, they come on and then I just get bored because I don't know what they are. So I just, I very rarely watch any 80s stuff. Christine uh, says, hi. Uh, Anna says, nice to see you're hyper again. You're looking great again. Oh, bless you. It's the pink. I love pink. I've got Tina, I've got Kelly, I've got Carol. Uh, oh, Alison's just remind me, I haven't actually done the like and share. So the like and share for this week, because obviously um, I, I use the like and shares for, uh, I like your help and your feedback. Uh, and I, I like, so I do assess all the questions that we have. So the like and share for this week, I would like to know, okay, how many of you have done mixed media and how many haven't now what i mean by mixed media how many have you try how many have you tried something different than card making so for example mixed media uh, could be canvas work 
or it could be using or it could be using uh, MDF and doing textures on there. So all I would like to do is say yes and like and share or no. So that's what I want to know. I want to know out of everybody that's watching tonight, how many of you have done mixed media and normally haven't. So if you would could like and share the page and let's get everybody joining our crafting community, then I'm going to pick a lucky winner and tonight's lucky winner is going to win uh, some fun bundle of goodies. Um, okay, where are we? Um, Tracy said, I've sent my other half for a cuppa. Well, that is like minds think alike because Dave has just come back, Tracy, and in his hand, he has a lovely cup of tea. And in my favorite mug that says, being creative is not a hobby, it's a way of life. I love that. Bit hot though, I need to let it cool down. I've got Catherine says, hi, folding loads of laundry while watching you in California. Hi, Catherine. I have got... Uh, Sandra loving mixed media. I've got Sue. Wow, there's still loads of you that I haven't said hello. So obviously I'm trying my hardest to read them all out. So just bear with me. So while I'm reading them all out, Dave has got a little treating for you. So while I'm reading out your messages, he's going to show you some in depth with these little uh, gadgets of some of the actual projects that we have behind okay so i've got michelle just joined us i have got sandra says spoke to jill the other day and got my download sorted out she really is a lovely lady a big thank you to her thank you sandra uh so chris says i'm missing out on your conversation as you're freezing when you start i've missed a lot oh bless you hopefully it'll calm itself down very very soon uh ruth says thank you for spoiling us oh you're very welcome uh kim says can't resist your products are amazing well just wait till you see the products that i have on tonight mary says hello i love the fan card on the shelf oh well dave will be having a close-up look in the second i have got angela just joined us i've got anita says chris norton if you've got a iphone try turn it on here for me it's working right hopefully that makes sense I've got, I did my first mixed media last week, uh, Rocky Crafts Hand said. Uh, where are we? I have got, oh, it's gone crazy. I'm trying to catch it very, very quickly. Now, don't forget to put like and share so we can pick somebody. Uh, Betty says, never heard of mixed media, so that's a no. Really, Betty? Wow. So all the actual projects that Dave is showing you at the moment is classed as mixed media. Even the cards because of the layers that we've actually used on there. So Jean says, hello, Dave, hope you're feeling better. Love the cards behind you. Uh, and I've got uh, Rocky Crafthand saying that she is love. She love. She lives for mixed media. So much fun. Totally agree with you there. Uh, wow, there's so many of loads of you. Linda says, having real problems. We'll have to watch later. Only getting bits of the conversation. No idea what's going on. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on. Maybe I don't know if you can get onto YouTube. I've got um, I've got quite a few people on YouTube. I'm just trying to remember. I've got Carol Wood just joined as well. Um, I have got oh my goodness, loads of you are um, have had a go at mixed media, but actually there's some that hasn't. Ruth says not done mixed media before. Wow. Um, and Christine says she's only dabbled but need to do more. Totally agree. So hopefully you're going to have uh, uh, have a go at mixed media. Anita says, thanks for a new approach with mixed media today. I have not done mixed media. Well, we're going to have a look at the four different stages of mixed media. And I'm actually just uh, teaching my top tips that I love doing when it mixed media is. So I'll oh, thank you everybody for liking and sharing my page. I really, really do appreciate it. And thank you for the information because then it actually tells me how many of my lovely customers haven't had a go at a new mixed media. Now mixed media really, can start with card making and then you can actually dave showed you all those fabulous samples and we have to say thank you there's quite a few uh bella tab has actually done some of those i'm just trying to see which ones they've done also debbie bradley has done some of the samples and then some of the samples i've done as well so we've had so much fun doing these and i think sharon has actually done one of the samples as well um Jennifer says, yes to mixed media. Hello from Tennessee. Very cold here with a mixture of rain and snow. Oh, um, I've got Cheryl says she has done some deco patching loads. Um, OK, where am I? I've got Rosina just joined us. Mag says, I can't get an answer from your offers about my missing order. Really, Mags? OK, um, Dave, I've left my book in the box on the floor by my filing cabinet. Could you get that for me? And I'll write that down, Mags. And 
Now, don't forget, we uh, we Jill's not in. Um, basically, the admin side of it is only uh, two days a week, so just bear with us. Um, but we are on top. From what I know, I think we we had hundreds and hundreds of emails. So I think she's quite on top of everything. Uh, so what I'm going to do, uh, Mags, I'm just going to write that down before uh, it goes away. And then I'll write it on my, um, oh, Dave's got my book. Brilliant. I don't know what I've done with my pen. I'll use this one a second. Right. Okay. So let's write this down. Mags Morgan. Okay, so I will get, can you, after the show, Max, can you private message um, Facebook after the show and let me know exactly what's happening and I will get somebody from the office to reply to you tomorrow afternoon, uh, missing order. Okay, so where are we? Um, well, Debbie's not done mixed media and Neat has not done it well. There's loads of you. Uh, <laughs> I like your answer, Teresa. You have put, have tried on different crafts, but not mixed media unless you count diamond painting. Uh, realistically, diamond painting isn't mixed media. I mean, it is a different medium. Um, I mean, you can get away with counting it as mixed media, but there's other mediums that when I show you what it classes mixed media, you'll know what I mean. Um, right, okay. I have got, uh, Bruce says, please thank the office for sorting out my celebration bear order. It's finally arrived. You're very welcome. I think Hermes is finally catching up with everything. Um, uh, Julie says, watching you while sorting my craft area. Well, that's really good organized. I really need to. You know, Dave threatened to show you my craft room. And I said, you can't because I haven't tidy. And you're not looking at it. Maybe one day I will show you. Uh, everybody's like the camera work. Brilliant. Okay. I've got Lynn says, evening, Debbie and Dave. Sorry, just finished dinner. Well, Lynn, I have got your notebook that you bought me. And somewhere on this desk is the pen, but I can't see it. It'd be hidden. So I'm using this one. Um, but we haven't really started. We've just been chatting. Everybody's loving the display. I've got Denise has uh, just joined us. And uh, loads of you. Oh, it's amazing how many of you haven't had a go at mixed media. Just wait till tonight. Chris said, it's like you've got hiccups, lol. I'm getting, I'm not getting a full sentence from you tonight. No idea, lol. Oh, Chris, bless you. I don't even know what to suggest on that. Um, I don't know if you need to come out and close Facebook down and then go back in. I have got more of you on YouTube. I've got Carol saying hi, everybody, from Queensland, Australia. I've also got Camilla saying hello from Norway. Wow, we're totally an international group tonight, aren't we? And this is what I love about Facebook Live shows because it doesn't. the world has become smaller. We all have this amazing uh, hobby that we all enjoy together. Yes, I do it for a living, but seriously, I love my job. I love the fact that not only do I get to play with products, I get to design them, and then I get to share them with all, with all you lovely crafters. It's, it's, it's really a job made in heaven. Uh, and plus, I get to talk for a living, which my husband says suits me down to a ground. Uh, I have got... Um, Dave's pulling, still pulling faces at me. I've got Philip says, even using like acetate and even putting glitter on a card is using mixed media. That's very true. It's very true. You know, you don't have to think that you go off the wall and that's what I'll be talking about, mixed media. Um, there is four stages um, with mixed media and this is my take on mixed media, everybody. Everybody looks at it a little bit different, but I'll be showing you how you start with mixed media and how you go through all the stages. And Philip is so right. Um, Rachel says, I've just started having a go. Brilliant. I have got loads of you. Not Violet says she's not done mixed media. I've got Lillian says, good evening, Debbie. Hope you're well. Looking forward to the evening. I have got Pat says, even though I've been crafting for many, many, many years, I picked up lots of tips from watching Debbie's demos every week, still learning all the time. Well, Pat, that's the beauty about these shows. You know, I, I've been doing crafting. Oh my goodness me. Do you know, I started doing crafting when I was 18 years old when I did missionary work in Romania and I did that for five years and believe it or not that is what got me into crafting. I was do I was a play therapist working in orphanages and hospitals out there in Romania and that's what got me into crafting. I didn't do crafts before then at all. My mum bless her soul she uh, was a painter and an artist and I did dabble but it was only when I started going out there and working uh, in childcare that I actually got into crafts myself. And then 
when I got married, uh, oh my goodness, it's 25 years this month. Well, not this month, this year. Um, when I did my wedding cards um, that I actually got into stamping. So it's amazing how things, and I'm teaching you from what I've learned since I was 18 years old. Um, I have got more people uh, <laughs> joining me. I can't believe how many of you are on tonight. Uh, Sue says, have always wanted to try mixed media. I don't know where to start. Well, tonight you're going to know that. Um, I've got Anne says, uh, love doing transfer candles. You taught a few years ago. Do you know what? I tried to squeeze that on tonight and we do have a sample of a candle uh, on the show. I won't have time to do that demo, but I have got it on for one of the coming shows. I've got Angela says, hi, Debbie and Dave, the crazy crafting gang. I've got Julie says, hope you're all OK, Debbie. More well, thank you. Uh, Carol says, how's Sharon out there? So do I presume, do you mean Sharon who's in the group or do you mean Sharon my sister if you mean my Sharon my sister she actually said hello she popped in earlier and helped me get ready for tonight's show um, I have got Heather's loving the, the actual samples uh, Lynn says she's never tried mixed media oh Lynn just you're in for a treat tonight I've got Anita oh sorry Annette says hi Debbie Dave I've not done mixed media done decoupage but that's not mixed media is it love Anita actually it's a form of mixed media like Philip said earlier it's when you do loads of different layers and decoupage um, if you do decoupage with Mod Podge because I've got a Mod Podge on today's show and I love Mod Podge um, that is actually a, a form of mixed media because then it's a part of upcycling and you can go from one to the other uh, Betty says, well, reading all your comments, I probably have done mixed media, but never knew it was called mixed media. That's probably the case. I totally agree with that. Okay, Angela says, love watching crafters do mixed media. Definitely. I have got Brian Johnson says, hi, Debbie. Glad to be watching. Well, hi to you as well. Uh, Dave's going to look at something on YouTube because I don't read that and it looks like a link. So please don't click on that on YouTube. I have got, um, Denise has had a dabble with MDF and looking forward to tonight's show. Wow, loads of you. Um, Fiona says she received my Roses and Blue, pri uh, Blue? Bloom Prize and she loves it. Oh, bless you, Fiona. You're going to love that collection. I adore. Well, I adore all my collections, but obviously that one is quite uh, a favourite of mine because it was inspired by my mum's roses. Um, Mark says, hi there. I'm watching from the Netherlands. Um, I've got Daryl saying Hermes and Post seems to be getting back to normal here. Yes, it's taken them a few weeks though. I've got Leah just joined us. I've got Pamela. I have got Donna. Oh my goodness. I have got Carol says she forgot that she'd done a power text one. So yes, you have tried mixed media. Uh, okay, I've got Andrea. I think we're coming to the end. Or I think I've said hello to everybody. I've got uh, Sandra says, sorry, I'm late. You're not late. We're just talking to about everything. Camilla says, hi, everybody from Ireland. Still watching on my phone as I don't have my computer. Have been afraid to try mixed media as I don't know much about it. Oh, you're in for a treat tonight, everybody, especially if you hadn't had to go. And even if you had, you're going to love what I've got on tonight. Um, Oh, Kirsty says you have a pure heart. Oh, bless you. Do you know what? I really, really love what I do, and uh, hopefully it comes across uh, in the in the inspiration that I share with you. I better have a mouthful of tea before it goes cold. Okay, uh, Liz says thank you for sharing your tips. Hilary says hi, Debbie and everybody. Holly from the USA says she loves decoupage. Um, loads of you haven't done mixed media, so don't worry. I'm going to share some top techniques. I have got, uh, Angela says, I like your job. You bring us lots of lovely things. Oh, bless you. Well, I'm so excited because I've got loads more to bring you this year. Um, right, okay. Um, Julie says, I made tent cards this week from your last demo. Oh, thank you. Well, that's the beauty about it because you, I share different techniques, okay, and I uh, hopefully will inspire you all to have a go. You don't, as I keep saying and stressing, you don't necessarily have to buy any product. I've got Michelle just joined us and Manda says Mod Podge is amazing. Okay, and uh, Dawa says we are truly international tonight. We certainly are. Okay, everybody. So we're going to get started. I'm going to explain the show. And Hilary says I don't like mic uh, messy mixed media. Well, that's what I'm going to talk to you about because mixed media doesn't have to be messy. There's four different stages. Um, Wendy says I did a mixed media picture from rice paper stamps, wooden bits, beads, paint, brushes and loved it. Well, that's exactly it. 
Uh, Liz says, hearing your definition of mixed media, I will have to admit I've been daft and that I have tried mixed media. Oops. <laughs> well, you know, that's the thing. People think mixed media is totally a whole different craft, but it isn't because you've all done, well, I think you've all done card making. Uh, of dabbled and make some cards from that you do mix media because it's exactly what it is you mix in different mediums on one area and you can do one one type of mixed media as in one type of thing or you can do 10 by doing the different layers i've got mary just joined us uh Joa says you're always smiling even when you feel a bit under the weather well do you know what um i think you know when you smile it automatically makes other people smile my grandfather used to say that and somebody well actually quite a lot of you on your post a couple of weeks on my post a couple of weeks ago said that i have got the same smile as my grandfather and so every time i smile now i think of my grandfather and so thank you for all of you with those beautiful comments that you put on my post i did read them all and especially those that was really i felt it really it touched me so much so thank you for that and uh, you know and that's so when you smile, I think it actually personally makes you feel better. Well, I don't know. Sometimes Dave thinks I'm a little bit uh, cuckoo. He's laughing and he's smiling at the same time. Um, okay, everybody. So we're going to uh, see. Betty says the smile and the world smiles with you. I think I need to put that on a topper. I think what I think I have a think of what my new collection's coming out, and we're going to have that on there. Um, right, okay. Uh, Holly says, did a mountain painting use an acrylic paints with accents in inks and over accents in oils? Holly, that sounds amazing. I've got Karen just joined us saying hello. And I think that that's everybody. Uh, Sophie says, hi, Debbie, I have learned so much from you in the last two years. I've always done painting, but really got into crafting the last few years. Thank you. You're so welcome. Uh, and Shadia says, yes, you do smell like your grandfather, Debbie. You are lucky. I never met either of my grandparents. Well, you know what, Shadia? Actually, my grandfather brought me up from the age of nine. My parents got divorced when I was nine and um, I went to live with my grandparents. And so my grandfather was always my father. So uh, he just had to put up with me. Bless him. I have got Elaine saying hello. Uh, loving the Art Deco Trudy says hi. And Robbie says smiling is infectious. I totally agree. Uh, Sue says, I'm not able to comment at the moment as preparing tea, but I'm listening and watching. Have doubled a bit to mixed media, but I'm looking forward to tonight's inspiration. Uh, so, oh, Karen, sorry, I've got distracted because I've just read what Karen's put, and I think that is lovely. She's put, my grandfather used to say, if you see somebody without a smile, give them one of yours. Oh, that is so lovely. Um, Susan says, love my mystery box that I bought last time. Thank you. Oh, I know. Those mystery boxes, especially the warehouse clearance. You know, you're supposed to only get £150 worth of products. But to be honest, some of them we just kept adding and adding and adding. And you'll probably find that you have more than that amount. But, you know, they were end of lines. The, the warehouse clearance boxes that we did, I think, what was it? twenty seven ninety nine for over £150 worth of products. It's a bargain because you'll have things that you won't have. And if you come across something that you do, give it to it as a present. Right, everybody, let's talk about, okay before i get distracted with any more let's talk about mixed media uh so thank you for everybody for your likes and shares um and as i said i will pick the actual winner at the end of the show because we have i've noticed we have some newbies on tonight so welcome to my crazy world we meet every thursday well we try was it last week we met friday so we do have on our website under our inspiration hub we have put all our facebook shows in there so you can actually watch them on catch up if you miss them as a rule, we have a create, uh, well, a craft and chat. That's because basically what we're doing Thursday, every Thursday. Uh, and then we do something called a happy hour. So they're the two shows that I tend to do. We did a happy hour this week that you can still watch on catch up or check it on my inspiration hub on my website, which is debbiemoredesigns.com. Um, however, I will say that this coming Monday, happy hour is not on. Um, because the magazine is finally going to print and you're going to love the new magazine that's coming out very, very soon. So I want to talk to you about how should our tonight's show work because there's a lot of newbies on tonight. So this show, as you can see, it's an interactive uh, demonstration. There's loads of you saying hello. Okay, like Tracy's just, by the way, just jogged my memory. Tracy said, looking forward to our gnome box. So all the gnome stock is due in da, 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 
tomorrow and there's loads of you waiting uh which i did tell you it'll be coming out mid january um all the gnome the new gnome collections are due to be dispatched uh the back end of tomorrow as soon as stock comes in on monday so it'll be with you very very soon so thank you everybody for your lovely patience so how the show works is an interactive demonstration so the idea behind it is i'm going to show you some products as we go through it we're going to have a look at some uh, samples. I'm going to talk to you um, on techniques. Dave's actually got some, hopefully, uh, some, because I told him that I need to make sure that I have really close up of some works because we're doing different techniques. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, have a look at that much better tonight than what happened last week. Um, but then with the show itself, I will then be showing you some product that you can buy if you want to. Now, if you are new, this is what you need to do. So if you've never bought from my Facebook live shows before, uh, as you go through it, okay, if, let's just go for the first item. So the first item that I have on tonight, and yes, the prices are amazing, everybody. We have a stencil on, which is the first item is a Sweet Dixie stencil, and it's only three pound. I know everybody, it's amazing. So obviously I've used this one, that's why um, it looks that color. So I've been told it blends straight into the background. Let's just do that. There you go. So you can, I should have got some black card actually. So as you can see, this is a six by six stencil. And if you want this, the little item will come up. So you can see there's the code FB1061. So if you want that, all you need to do is put in your comment box that you would like one of those. And then what will happen as we go through the show, this is how we'll go through it. So you can see if you want one of those, you just put it in your comment box and what will happen is at the end of the show you need to private message me your postal address and your email address because when the show closed down this show will close down on um actual sunday and then what will happen is we'll then invoice you um sorry let me get this right sorry this one will close down on tuesday and uh, as i can see sherry's ordered one of these i mean at three pound it is an amazing price and it's great to add definition and texture so this little one for three pound look at the detail that you can see we've actually used it on top of that paper so this is one of the cards that we've got it just adds a little bit more definition on here so i can see some of you are already starting to order it so this is how our system works everybody so if you want to order it you just put the code in so you can see I've actually used it on there as well, just to give accents on there. And we've even used it on some, oh, um, sorry about that, it's glass. We've used it with stippling on one of these lovely little candle tea light holders. So that stencil for three pound is just amazing. So that's how our system will work, okay. Um, for those who's just asked me, Anita, don't worry, we are working on doing a digital magazine for international crafters. I've just spotted that. So this is three pounds, really, everybody. Uh, I mean, for a uh, six by six is amazing. Uh, and then with the collection itself, okay, so after we've gone through everything, what will then happen, as I said, we'll then invoice you and you can click on it and you can see what you've ordered. You can pay by credit card, debit card or PayPal. Now, if you're brand new, to use in the system, the email might go into the spam folder. So make sure you check that before you contact the office. Now you can contact the office through private message, um, messenger on Facebook. You can e email us or the fastest way is to give the office a ring on 01325 465 049. My website is debbiemoredesigns.com and I think that's everything. Uh, right, okay, so um Carol says are you doing going to do gnomes for us as well no Carol I'm not doing gnomes tonight this is mixed media uh Linda says watching on YouTube but unable to comment comment but I'm with you well check Linda um because you should be able to comment because other people have commented um okay um where are we so so this is the first item I am going to have a mouthful of tea and we're going to get started so it's an amazing price for three pounds. If anybody has any questions about how the system works, please just let me know and I will answer it for you. So mixed media. 
So the products that I'm going to go through at the moment are ones that I'm going to be demoing. I'm actually going to show you how to do a canvas and we're going to talk about the different stages of mixed media. So with mixed media, it literally is exactly that. You actually try in different mediums. So you can start off with purely by using a stencil on the paper of the card. So I've just showed you how to do that. The next one, so the next item I'm going to show you is our metallic card. Well, sorry, our metallic ink. I'll get it right. Metallic paint. And it's at an amazing price. And it's just to show you how, for well, this is a deco art. It's an amazing brand, everybody. And it gives you that lovely, vibrant color. So as you can see here, if I just do this, you are not getting one, but you're getting two. But have you seen the price? You are going to get a silver and a gold, and they are two ounce bottles, and it is only £6.98 for both. Now with those, okay, if I just turn them around, okay, so this is FB1062. Look at the vibrancy. So what I've done here, or I should say what Bella's done for me, she's actually shown you, hopefully you can pick it up on here, the silver, depending on what you put it on. So that is a little bit darker than this one. So it's a little bit, because we've actually painted it on white. You can see we've got a color behind those. We've done craft card and we've done it on black. And then we've done the same with the gold, okay? So you can see how this texture is different to that one because you can see the shine on it. It's amazing, I love the gold. And then we showed you that lovely tea light that we did with, the, um, with that stencil. But look at this one. So that's a different stencil, okay? But it's using the metallic paint, so you can do that. But also, add in metallic. So I've actually dabbed some of that gold around the edges. Hopefully it's picking it up. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Dave says it is picking it up, everybody. So FB1062, okay? So you can see there, this enables you. So, so far, it's just a simple card. I've added some um, mixed media effects. Literally, I've added some gold paint. So this is how I introducing you to mixed media. Loads of you are ordering the paint. I'm not surprised, it's an amazing price. I've got Margaret just joining and saying, sorry I'm late, no problem. This is the second item, Margaret. You're gonna have to do catch up. The first item was this beautiful stencil and this stencil was only three pound and that's FB1061. I've got Julie just joined us as well. Hi, Julie. So there's loads of you. Uh, who actually actually have ordered the paint. Fan says, if you can't comment, newbies, you have to wait 15 minutes. Try swiping the screen to the right. Good reminder. Um, Anne, don't panic. There are no gnomes tonight. I know gnome has a, uh, Anne has an phobia of gnomes, everybody. Uh, Sharon says, I've just cleaned up my cooker. Here was mixed media on there, lol. Oh, that's so funny, Sharon. <laughs> that's so true. Right, everybody. So I have got... Uh, Debbie says, can't win for losing. You just are not working for me today. I have come out and gone back in. I've just, it must be the weather here. Oh, bless you. Well, maybe you should try YouTube, see if that's working. Uh, Chris says, this is just put on with a brush. So I've just got a brush, doubled it in pen and gone like that. That's basically what I've done. And then obviously this is being put on with the stencil. Hopefully that makes sense. So this, the, 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 so the stencil was FB1061 three pound everybody and then the paint is an amazing deal so i'm just going through the items for you so you can see here that you have got uh two you've got silver and the gold for only 6.98 and just think of how much you want to put silver and gold and it's great for christmas as well really good fun collection okay the next item is an amazing bargain i might have to ask dev to give me an individual price because you are going to get 12 crafters acrylic paint. So, but look at the price, everybody. This is FB1063, 19.99 for 12. Look at the colors. So she really do this for 12 paints of two ounces and they're acrylic paint. So if you do MDF, this is an amazing set of paints. I'm going to put them in all in colors so you can see them. So you're going to get, not a choice of, you're going to get all, all 12. I'm going to try and put them in the right colors. Is it six, one pound 66 each? It ends up being 
for a paint. That is really amazing, everybody. So we have got, as you can see there, all the different colors. Okay, and you will use them again. Um, right, I've missed some people on, where are we? I've missed some people on YouTube. I've got, Mandy says, hi, I'm late. Everybody just finished washing up, bless you. And then I have got uh, <laughs> loads of you talking on YouTube between you all. And then I've got loads more. Gosh, I'm trying to multitask. Mag says Facebook is not working. It keeps stopping and starting. Uh, bless you. Hopefully it will sort out very, very soon. Um, and I've got Tracy says we're okay. We had issues earlier in the week, but we often have trouble with Virgin. Mm, that's very true. But Joey says I've been after a metallic gold and silver for some time, but never managed to get it. Well, there you go. I've just done it. Okay. It is an amazing bargain. Um, Susan says, Debbie, can you paint MDT with them? MDT. What have I missed? Do you mean MDF? Because if that's the answer, the answer is yes. So this is amazing buy, okay? These paints are great. So every color, but then you can actually mix and match them. So $19.99, okay? And with the paint, I'm just going to put them very back in there very quickly. And I'm going to share with you some canvases, okay? So obviously Dave showed you some samples at the beginning of the hour, okay? And then what I want to do, if I go like that, is show with you some canvas. Look at that. So this, okay, so this is stage three with regard to mixed media, and I'll come to it in a bit detail when we go more in depth, but what I want to do is show you how the metallic paint looks gorgeous, and we've added it touches, and then we've actually used some of the other color paints throughout, and then we'll use the Distress Ink. It really is a fabulous color. Um, oh, Susan says it was MDF. Uh, have invoices gone out for a happy hour show for Monday? No, um, they won't be going out till this coming Monday. Okay, because obviously we've just sent out the invoices for last Thursday, so I didn't want to have any confusing. Uh, Pat says, had to log out, I'm now back in. Brilliant. I've got Edit. Enid says, hi Debbie, a bit late, no problem. Will you be selling any of the paints singly? Um, not at the moment, but I think I might in the future. Uh, Karen says, do you need to use primer on MDF before acrylic? I don't. <laughs> Karen, okay, I never have, okay, my mum never had when she did MDF. So, um, you could actually use gesso, oh, Tracy's actually said exactly the same thing. Um, gesso, you can use a, a base, um, use white or black like Tracy's actually put, and that gives you that option. Um, and and then what you can do, obviously, if you use a base, then it, you can make the color stronger. So it's entirely up to you for the finish you want. Now, the next item, you're going to blink on what the actual price is for this. So this next item is Mod Podge, okay? Now, if you've never used Mod Podge, the way to describe a Mod Podge, it is a sealer, a glue, and a finish. Now, this is the matte one. It's a two ounce one, but look at the price, £2.33 you're going to love it because by the time it'd be one of your favorites for mixed media and also for using it with MDF everybody. So it's a really good size and the reason why Mod Podge is handy, I'm going to show you some of the cut uh, samples. So I've showed you that one. So these have been all put on with Mod Podge and then we've got paint on top. Then this by the way is stage one of mixed media and I'll be talking through that in a second. It is FB1064, you're gonna be able to do that. But then, you can actually put your rice paper on glass, look at that, with Mod Podge, which is brilliant. So Karen says she's loving Mod Podge. Alison says, a set of five pence would be good, please, in different collections. Okay, I'll put it on my list, Alison. Uh, Cheryl says Mod Podge is great. Um, as you go through, um, with regard to these, so these are these fabulous tea lights, which um, Bella did, and look at that. Finish it off with some gems, have a tea light in, and it shows beautifully. So Mod Podge is FB1064. It is only £2.33, everybody. Robbie says, I use Mod Podge on tissue cards to help seal and give textures. Very true. And the other thing is, yes, you can get Mod Podge with glitter. However, you know what I am with glitter? You can actually 
put some Mod Podge in a little jar and put some glitter on, especially the iridescent glitter, and give the varnish a little glittery finish. Because that's what Mod Podge is all about, everybody. Okay, it is a sealer as well. So it's a water-based glue and you can actually, and I'll be showing you how to use it, okay? So we've used it on here to actually put this in the canvas and I'll come to that in a second. Because what I want to do is I'll show you a couple of products and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how easy it is to achieve this fabulous finish. Now with the next item, so what we've done is we put a bundle. So this next item, is for especially if you want to start with mixed media this is fb this next one 1064 and you will be able to create sorry 65 even i'll get the right one so you'll be able to create everybody because you're going to get three sheets of rice paper so even though you get three sheets of rice paper these are the ones here you get this one. So you actually have four designs in there. Oh, Cheryl says she has glittery Mod Podge and it's great. And so does Kirsty, lovely using it. Andrew's just joined us from Wigan. Um, Dara says, have you got the rice paper you have on the canvas in front of you? I think, do you mean that one? Because the answer is yes. <laughs> um, so as you can see here, oh, values, but oh, well, my favorite. It definitely is. Uh, Tracy says, I use Mod, have tried gloss, but I didn't really like it. Well, matte is a good one to start off with and i would focus on matte first and then when you get when you feel that you love it okay then i would actually go to do the glossy uh Kay says never thought of putting glitter in my mod pods i must have a go make sure it's all to fine though so this particular kit everybody you are going to be able to achieve this okay because you are going to get a canvas. I'm gonna get you started on doing canvases. You have this favorite stencil of mine because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six different effects in there. Then you're, not get, then you're going to get three different fibrous rice papers. You can see that. I'm just gonna move that down so you can see it. Okay, so you've got beautiful rice papers. There's that one. Then there's that one there. I mean, look at the price, everybody. Normally, $19.99 but it's only 10.99 uh do you have rice papers on their own i do it's coming up very soon diane okay so as you can see everybody you can how easy is it and this is why i said it's first stage because all you would do is going to fix that on there and then look at it here's what i made earlier so to speak and then all i did okay this is it says be free i had this in my crafty stash but all the actual things around the edges i took the stencil and I'll be doing a demo in a second and stippled on the gold paint. And then I put love, dream and life in there. How fabulous is that? It looks amazing. And this is the beauty. If you bought that, I mean, how much would that cost from B&M or from home base? Maybe 10 quid. Okay. And you've achieved that. And that probably took me to do maybe 15, 20 minutes because all you're doing, everybody, and I'm going to show you how to put the rice paper on, is put that onto there. So this is stage one of mixed media, okay? And whoever said I don't like messy uh, mixed media, this is not messy. Yes, there's a bit of stippling paint and then rubbing on some actual inks, but when you have a go, it'll be amazing. Um, where am I? Uh, Chris says, I always thought rice paper was used for cooking, but thing, put things on like macaroons on. There is rice paper, Chris, but this is craft rice paper. I know the ones you mean, okay, but this one is different. Uh, Cheryl says, I've never used rice paper. It looks thicker than tissue paper. It actually is, okay. I'll be showing you how to use it very soon. Colleen says, sorry I'm late. What is the like and share? The like and share, Colleen, was to tell me whether um, you have done mixed media or not because I'm using that information for, I always like to do like a, I don't really call it a poll. That's what it is. Right, everybody. So just to go through this kit that you're going to get. So wait a minute. I haven't showed you the next one. Look what else you'll be able to create. So this is stage one of mixed media. This is stage two. And I'm going to show you how to do stage two. Doesn't that look amazing? So you recognize that in there. Okay. You recognize this paper. And then I've used stencils in the edges to give you that lovely look. Um, and so what you've got on here is fibrous. Uh, what's the difference between pound and quid? Nothing. Nothing. Did I say quid? Just, uh, just 
Oh, sorry, everybody. I did. I do apologise. Uh, there's nothing. <laughs> do you sell rice paper to print on? Not yet, Carol. It is on my list to find new product, okay? So, anyway, so going back to this kit, everybody. So, you'll be able to achieve that effect. So, just to recap, with that bundle, you're going to be able to create that lovely canvas as well. So, I'm going to put that to one side. So, in the kit, you have got a canvas to get you started. Then, you've got three of these fibrous rice papers. You've got that one. You've got this one, which is great because you can achieve four in that one. And then what we have on here, the next one here, and then you have this one, which is lovely. Okay, so you're going to get those three. And then you're going to get this stencil, which I'll be using in my demonstration very soon. Um, it is, you've got one, oh, you can't see. Let's do it there. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six in one stencil. And it's fabulous for you to use. But look at the price, normally $10.99. If you want to double in mixed media, that's a good one to start off with. And I'm just going to do one more. And I'm going to jump, I'm going to ask Dave if we could jump to FB1071 before I start my demonstration. Because somebody was asking, do we have other rice papers? So FB7, sorry, FB1071 is this one, everybody. So you have got, let's use the canvas, so you're going to get five papers in total. And they're five papers, these are all the designs. And they're $10.99. I mean, look how gorgeous that design is. Okay, so this is FB, what did I say? FB1071. So you've got that sheet. Then you've got that one, okay. It's fabulous, okay. Oops, it's upside down. So it's got a hint of Paris with the flowers. So this is the flower and bird set, okay? And then you have got, uh, Amanda says, didn't realize mixed media included so much. Oh, well, there is. Uh, so look at this. You've got all this done. Uh, Colin says, Debbie, can you tell me whether the orders for the 30th of December is out yet? I had a mystery box and a December box. Um, Colin, you should have that. But if you've ordered any of the new gnomes, okay, those gnomes are due to come into our, our warehouse uh, tomorrow afternoon and they'll be shipped out. And I mentioned that at the beginning of the show. They'll be shipped out the, uh, tomorrow afternoon and Monday. But what I'll do is I'll get Jessica to look into where your order is, okay, and send a message. Um, Selena says, sorry, Debbie, can you tell me where I can find the card demos that you did on Monday, please? The card demos? Um, if you go to our inspiration hub on debbiemoredesigns.com, Clenis, you'll be able to find it. But Dave is actually going to show you. He's just talking. that looks gorgeous so I'm going to move that to one side and we're going to do a canvas now ask away any questions and then we'll go back to the other ones there you go everybody look at Dave he's showing you where it is you can click on there isn't he amazing do you know what I'm going to have to get him a pint tonight of because uh, he's really having fun showing you where everything is uh, I think was it Glynis that was asking me uh, it's gone now <laughs> I've, got, I've lost you because so many people have sent me messages um okay so whoever's asked me <laughs> whoever asked me about oh glennis it was you hopefully now you can see where to go uh right everybody so let's do um uh, i've got christine just joining us and hello and and just says oh you're very good dave right everybody so i want to show you okay how to get to this point so let me just recap first right so in for me there is a four stages in mixed media. So let me just show you. First stage, just one sheet, okay? A little bit of dabble, straightforward, very clean, okay? Not much to it, okay? So that's stage one of mixed media. And this is how I would describe everybody. And what we'll do is we'll put up the kit, the kit that we have on promotion, okay, of FB1065 that, cut, that you'll be able to create what I'm showing you, as well as adding some extra papers. Uh, Karen says, lost you. Can you show the papers again? Okay, one second. <laughs> like, okay, so for those people that lost those papers, I'm just going to do this. 
Uh, and Tracy says, Dave, show sure enough. Wendy says, couldn't he hear you while he was showing or see the rice papers? Well, I'm going to do it now. Okay. Uh, uh, Carol says, is that a pint of water? <laughs> that is so funny. Right. Okay, everybody. Just to show you the rice papers very quickly again. So this is FB1071. You're going to get five different papers. I'm going to put them on the canvas so you can see them better. Hopefully they pick them up. Okay. So you've got this one, which is gorgeous. Then you have, okay, the one with the bird in the corner. Okay, so this is the flora and bird collection. And then what we've got on here, as you can see, you have got the one with the Paris and these gorgeous pink flowers. You know, I'm attracted to that. I'm going to use that in tonight's uh, demonstration, actually. Uh, and then look at this one. I know red, but it's a bit pinky red. It's lovely, that one. So you have that one. And then the last one is a little bit wisteria. So for those people who are asking about what were in the papers, so that code again is FB1071. And look at the price of the papers, 10.99 for all those fabulous, glorious papers. So we're gonna go back to the original, I'll put that over there, kit, okay? So the original kit that I mentioned was FB1071. 1065 where you're going to get a canvas you're going to get three papers everybody to get you started and you're going to get a stencil for that amazing price of 10.99 so it's a good way to get started okay everybody um what do you fix the rice papers to the canvas anything special Mod Podge. I'm going to demonstrate that in a second, Gainer. So that is this kit, and this is what we're going to use. So going back to what I was saying, stage one of mixed media. You know, especially if you don't like getting messy, this is great, okay? Then stage two is then you experiment a bit more. So you add more textures, add in more paints, add in more layers. Hopefully this is coming up. Uh, I haven't frozen, and it's coming up okay. And as you can see here, we've then actually cut out some more papers, added some distress inks to give you that effect. So that's stage, obviously, two. The next one would be a little bit messy, okay? So the next one is uh, this one. So as you can see what Bella's done in here, she's then added some MDF that she's painted. She's added some ribbon. She scrunched some paper up and she's rubbed some of that metallic paint that we had on the show. Uh, could you use printed vellum instead of rice paper. You can have a go, but it won't sink in as much, Chris, okay? Um, you can have a go. The way to describe rice paper is just a little bit thicker than tissue. Vellum, you can't really sink that in. So that is the third technique, what I call mixed media. So you can see the levels, everybody. Then the next level, if I can get it off the wall, is this, okay? So this one here, Okay, what Bella's done is she's taken, as you can see, a stencil, and you might not be able to see it, but we've got pastes on there, we've got all sorts of different textures on there, we've used stencils on here. You may recognize the stencil from that one that I showed you earlier. See, there's a stencil there, so they're along there. And she's also put some other stencils on there and done textures. So literally, this is more of, and then she's actually done some uh, different effects on here as well. So you can go from one extreme to the other when it comes to mixed media. There isn't a right or wrong way, really, it's your way. You know, if somebody goes to you, oh, you can't do it that way, I would say do it whichever way you want. However, when it comes to certain mediums, you do have to do it, uh, like for when I say, um, like for example, Mod Podge. So we have Mod Podge on offer, what do I do with it? So you do have, you do, you can't leave it. So you do have to follow the instructions of whatever material you are using. So I'm gonna show you how to create this effect, everybody. So I have got my canvas. Now, when if you've never used a canvas before, when you get it home, it will come with this, right? And the idea is you stabilize the canvas and put them around the edges. Um, and Tracy said you can't go wrong with mixed media. I totally agree with you. And then what you need to do is, I've got a bit of plastic. I did have a little dish and I need my brush, which I can't find, where's it gone? I'll use this one. I might have to ask Dave, is there a flat brush in that yellow box, please? 
Uh, well, okay. So everybody, Judy says, can't wait until I spend a hundred pounds to send to me, please. What? Very confused, Judy, what you mean. Uh, Karen says, you can't really go wrong with mixed media. Oh, thank you very much. Mixed media, if you make a mistake, cover it up and add something else. That is so true. This is why mixed media is so easy. Okay, I'm going to ask Dave if you can make me a quick cup of tea while I continue with this. So remember, with the kit that I showed you, stage one, if you just want to do something very straightforward, you can stick that onto there as one sheet. But I want to show you how to do stage two because stage two is a little bit more in depth. So what I've got here, I have actually got already. So this is part of the kit, everybody. And this is part of the kit that you've got that you can see on up. Oh, Dave's put the Mod Podge on the screen. When he comes back, I will get him to actually um, put the kit back on. So as you can see, I've to cut these all out. Now, when it comes to the fabulous rice papers, they are designed that you can use scissors to cut them. However, if you want to tear an effect, so I want to have this along here. So I'm just deciding where I want everything, everybody, so you can see that. Okay. If you want to take something out, so here's, for example, this one here. So you can use a pair of scissors and very easily cut it like so. Okay. So you can cut it like that. Okay, now what I've done is I have got one of the papers from the pack of five with that lovely pink and I want to actually um, take this lovely flower out. Now you need to get a piece of paper, sorry, a, a thin brush and also a little bit of water. Um, <laughs> Phyllis, but what do you like to drink when you go to the pub? Um, well, I do like Prosecco. But I do like uh, Jack Daniels and Coke. So, uh, Curtis says, I'll have a cup of tea as well, Dave, with no milk and sugar. <laughs> so, I'll tell him, Kirsty when he comes back. So, going back to here, if I want to tear, okay, because it's they've got fibres in, so it's very important that you just get some water. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Is If I put the water there, it can you see, it automatically tears where I want it to go. So, then I want it to go around here. And then what I've got here, as you go round here, like so, with the water, it's just plain water, everybody. And then what I'm doing is pulling that area. Can you see how easy it's pulling and with the fibers? And that's how you actually take the areas of the rice paper. So you can cut them, but you can also tear them. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. What have I missed? Uh, hi Debbie, I sent an email, but so sorry to go off track, but I purchased the gnome is where the heart is digital and the spring, summer. What have I missed? Um, okay, I might have to read that back, Magda. Can you do me a favor? Can you private message me after the show and we'll look at that tomorrow, sorry. Um, because your, your message has gone off screen. So going back to here, everybody. So as you can see, I'm laying it out. Now, next thing, Mod Podge. You can use a little dish. I tend to use plastic, everybody. You know what I'm like. So Mod Podge is a sealer. It's an adhesive. It's glue. So what I then need, I'm using a flat brush. And this is how easy you attach rice paper. Do not blink, everybody. That's where I want to put it. So I am putting the glue there. So just put a layer of glue, like so, all that area. And what's going to happen, okay, it's going on white so you can't see it, but then this is going to go in that angle, and then I put the glue on top as a sealant. That's how easy it is, okay? Very easy to do it that way. I like. I tend to use the glue that way, so I don't, I don't want to put it in the pot and then I don't waste it. So I tend to push up, like so. And then if I haven't got the glue down, then I put more glue down like so. And then push down. There isn't a wrong or a right way. Do you have flat brushes? Karen, I actually don't at the moment. Um, however, I mean, you should be able to pick it up from your local. I tell you what, we have what we call, um, I don't know what you call, like B&M, um, those type of, you know, or even kiddies flat brushes. At the moment, I don't have any flat brushes, but you can use any brush. Uh, Fiona says, lost you on the phone as Ke K 
carers came but still watch on TV back now so that's great brilliant so if you can't watch me on Facebook watch me on YouTube okay so as you can see how easy that was now that's stuck together and then next thing I'm doing is laying up where I want to so basically ask away any questions because I'm just playing nicely I'm putting these where I would like to go so that's going to go like so so I'm going to go very quickly through this um, Tracy's Mod Podge is a lot better than watered down PVA glue yes it is the, it's much stronger oh Daryl said the works thank you Daryl that's exactly what I was thinking I couldn't remember what it was called the works have flat brushes so hopefully you guys wherever you are have a works but at the moment I don't have brushes I will be stocking the actual uh, mixed media products uh, Robbie says great tip about using water and a brush to tear the paper I'm going to give that a go I only cut the paper before never realized basically Robbie do you remember years and years ago uh, used to have something called mulberry paper well basically rice paper is very similar and looks like rice um, mulberry paper and that is made up of loads and loads of fibers so to actually get that tear effect you need to use water clean water and a clean brush um, there we go let's put this like so so I'm going to put this along here so you can see how it's coming together this bit I will cut I'll take off later and all I'm doing is literally adding a little bit at the time Karen says oh I have mulberry paper well you know what I mean then Karen oops I've just got a bit of glue on me and there we go and then all I'm doing is doing it in stages just doing it in stages so you don't get air bubbles now if you find that you have like I've got one there lift it up before it quickly dries before you ask me how long do you have to dry it depends on how warm the room is and how much glue or should say mod podge you have put on your canvas so you'll be able to know you'll be able to see because I can see straight away that this is dry okay and then what I'm doing is I am now actually these sections where are they with those beautiful flowers so remember what I said I actually want to have I'm going to have that there it's going to go there then I want to have actually I'm going to put that one there I'm going to have that one there can you see what I'm doing so these two by the way are from the kit that you get and then this rose one no it's not a rose this other pink paper is from the set of five okay because I wanted you to have a go at being able to do stage one which was the Eiffel Tower um, canvas effect okay and obviously there's one canvas in the kit and you can pick canvases up quite, quite a lot of places because you will get hooked trust me you are going to get hooked on this once you've had a go so as you can see I am just doing that now because I've got that look what I'm doing uh, Brian says I bought my flat brushes art set from the shop called the works which is close to me and they even have them online for 2 dollars for a pack of nine different sizes well that's an amazing price okay go for it and then what I'm doing is I'm just using the water again because I want to just tear that part off okay and just simply when you've got the water down make sure it goes all the way to the end and it literally look at this pulls like that so hopefully you're picking it up all very easily from this now I need more water up there Susan says hi Debbie and everybody hi Susan you will have to watch it on catch up so this is going to go here so I actually want to have that on there like so and I'm going to leave that to hang over there so let's move the water out of the way because I know what I'm like oh I think I might have to ask Dave to turn the heating down because I'm so warm um, do you do this technique on MDF shapes yes you can you can use Mod Podge and you can actually put um, rice paper depending on the shape onto MDF doesn't have to be canvases this is just a technique you can even put rice paper onto cards I have some samples what I'll show you in a second once I've done this everybody so I actually just going to lift that up because I want to have a little bit of show there there we go so you can see how this is coming together as I'm talking and multitasking uh, Andrew says oh I've got already I've already got some very lovely rice papers get inspired to do a canvas with them now thank you brilliant that's the whole thing of this show everybody you get inspired that's the whole thing because mixed media really 
it depends what you want to have a go of. And this is so straightforward. You know, I've got a canvas from that kit that I've used. And then what I'm doing is simply just putting them together. So as you can see, I'm putting this up here. So I want this one here. Where do I want it? So I want to go up there like so. And then I'll get my water. So Dave is just passing me the YouTube messages. Oh my goodness, there's loads I've missed. So let's have a look. Um, angel hair paper. I love when I first started card making. It has frayed edge. Yes, that's totally true. So let's add this round here. There we go. And just get rid of this bit. See, very easy. And then I want to put that just along there like so. Let's move that canvas out the way. And when you actually lay it up, make sure you decide on the colours. I don't want to miss. See, I've got a little B for botanical, so that means I need... I, can't, I don't want to get that covered up. So see how easy that is. How do I combine my orders? So, Tina, if you've already got an outstanding invoice, okay, what will happen is you can add it when it goes to the website. So when you get your invoice you can add things to it and you can delete things for it so you should be able to do that or if you want to just ring the office or send a message and we'll do that for you <laughs> whichever is easiest for you okay but if you send a message jessica will get it sorted out so as you can see at the moment this is what i'm doing and i have done one so just very very quickly i just want to get some more layers so the idea is choose you can cut so for example this one um as you can see uh Carla says oops late again saw the modification then got sidetracked we'll watch and catch up no problem and then what i'm doing is this is i'm cutting the edge off here and this is going to go on here like so just down there and this is how you can combine tearing and also so you can see what i'm doing so i am um, going to quickly as you can see i'm adding mod podge on and you can see how it's sinking on i mean this you know this probably takes i've never timed myself so i'm just trying to work out how long depending how and how much i mean are you one of those crafters that you start doing it and then you're happy and you think oh should i just add a bit more uh because that does happen we all have been there haven't we so this is going to go like so. So at the moment, it may look like nothing, but trust me, when you add all your different elements, and then what I want to do is I just want to just cut along here. You have those three sheets of paper, and I just want a little bit on there just to cut out a bit more. And then what I'm going to do is finish it off, and then we're going to do some stenciling. So you can see what I'm doing as we go on here. And all I'm doing is adding Mod Podge. Um, I've got Anne saying I have loads of canvases. What would I like? Uh, what I would like to know is, do you stock the stencil on its own? Yes. But before you ask me how much, I don't know Anne. <laughs> so if you want the stencil on its own, I think it might be, I think it might be three ninety nine, um, or even a little bit more because there's six different techniques on it. Um, so hopefully that answers that. Um, um, cases I've got several canvases that I had for painting and stencils, but some will be used for my rice papers when they arrive. You are definitely going to love that. Now, I am not going to add any more at the moment, okay? So you look at that and think, well, that looks nothing. But look at this, okay? Hopefully you can see it okay. So you have got those papers. I've added a balance. I've added the word, and don't look at those because they're extras. And then what I want to do is I want to then do some stencil work. So what I'm just going to leave that to dry for about, because it doesn't take long. And obviously in here, I'm just going to lift this up because I haven't put this in the right place. Just need to add a little bit more Mod Podge over it. There we go. So I'm going to leave that to dry for probably about two minutes and then I'll come back and then do the stenciling. And then I will take all these bits and it'll look so much different. Um, okay. I am going to have a mouthful of tea because they've just come back with a cup of tea. Uh, where are we? Uh, Fiona says, I really love how quickly it comes together. This is gorgeous. Well, I haven't finished yet. Oh, you see my tea. You don't need to see my tea. Uh, Sue says, that looks lovely, Debbie. I've never used rice paper, so I might have to try it. It is so easy, everybody, okay? 
have a go. Okay, so let's leave that to dry. I've made a mess and then we'll be using the stencil in a second. So don't forget, I'm going to show you how to change that. I mean, I probably have about maybe 15 more minutes, 10 more minutes, and then this is all finished. So let's move that to one side. Pallas says there are some companies where you can buy printable rice paper. That is so true. And I'm trying to get it, Mandy, but I haven't yet. So the next item, everybody. So remember, this is what we're working on. Now, that kit that I showed you, so just recap the kit, which is, and then we'll continue from that, and then I'll go back to it. So it is FB1065. So that enables you, you've got a canvas, I mean, move that out of the way. You've got a canvas and then what you have, okay. Oh, sorry, I just get distracted. Um, Alexandra says that she likes the tea a bit stronger. Thank you. And Daryl says, Dave makes tea like I like it. Well, Daryl, it's because how I like it like that. Karen says you make everything look easy. Karen, it is easy. You just need to have the confidence and have a go. And trust me, I'm doing it live. You'll be, you'll, you won't be like, you'll have more room and more time to enjoy it. I mean, I love them because it's such an easy thing to do. So you're going to get the canvas and then you can actually get three papers. You can actually cut this, tear the edges even and get that lovely frayer look and then just ink the edges and straight away you have a canvas. Then you've also got uh who we've got one here is we have got on here this one and i've used that little image just there so as you can see you've got three others on that one and then the last paper is the one that i've used because you can see natural and botanical so i have used that as well and then don't forget you're going to get the stencil so the stencil is a fabulous stencil because you have six in one you've got one two three four five six six different effects and look at the price normally 19.99 get you started into mixed media for only 10.65 so that's that item however you know what i'm like i have loads of other products so you might have seen this one before because we had this on oh my goodness when did we have it on we had it on um i don't know a couple of months ago maybe three, but I brought it back because it's great for mixed media. So you can see here, you have got the fiber stent, uh, die. So it's a die, everybody. So look at the price. It is only FB1066, 499. So you can add these as layers, but it's great for card making as well. Look at the metal that you're going to get. Sue Dix is fabulous with Sweet Dixie. She gives you that lovely effect. Uh, you not see my work area, <laughs> Phillips put. Well, mine's messy. Okay, so this is FB1066. You cannot go wrong for $4.99 for that fibrous die set, okay? And this is great for using it for card making, scrapbooking, and also mixed media, everybody. Then the other one that I have, okay, and we have used, have we used this one somewhere? I need to find the cards. I'll have a look later. So this one, next one is FB1067. Brick wall, you know? It is such a fun look. It's much bigger, but the price is still amazing. It's six ninety nine. So this is great for cards for men as well. It's great for layering. It's great for scrapbooking. It's great for mixed media and card making. And for only six ninety nine, you are going to get this brick wall. Uh, it's by Sweet Dixie. Uh, that Sue has designed here. And oh, Susan says she has these, and they're great. They are great, aren't, aren't they? So for $6.99, you've got this one, which is the brick wall. And then the other one, because I do know people like digital, we have used, you saw the card samples that we have, everybody. So the ones that we have, I'm going to move that to one side, everybody. It's, we have two things. So we have Time Flies Compendium, which has volume one and volume two. And it has over 1,720 printable elements. This is FB1069. It is normally um, $24.99. We have it on offer at $12.99. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. I need a drink of tea. So just to show you some of the cards that we've used. So with these, okay, we've used them. We've added some of that lovely metallic gold. Hopefully it's picking up okay. Um, Dev says it is. There we go. There it is, everybody. You can see that. So this is FB1069. 
And then you can see that we've added the stencil, the first thing that I showed you earlier. So you can see you can actually mix media or you can use them on their own. I love time flies. Uh, Betty says, you make this look so easy. My next project this week will be mixed media. Here I come. Good for you, Betty. So this one here is also a mixed media one. We've used the Time Flies elements. We've used also some Distress Inks on there. I love Tim Holt's uh, Distress Inks. And what we've got on here is we have got that lovely stencil from earlier. Uh, I've just noticed a, a message from uh, Anne saying, have the January boxes gone out yet? They actually due to come in. Everything gnomes or the new celebration gnomes are due to come in. Uh, tomorrow afternoon into our warehouse and everything will be shipped out tomorrow and Monday. So Anne, look out for that. I've got Sunil just joined us as well. So there's just some of the inspiration cards. I mean, there's so much more, but time's running on. So this is FB1069. Now I do know there's a lot of you international. So what I've done here is I've given you the next item is a digital. So that means you can download the whole collection. So on here, you've got a thousand printable elements. This is just volume two, everybody. Normally $14.99. You have got this for $6.99. So if you, after your digital, I've just shown you some cards that you can actually do with it. And as you see, you are going to get the whole collection and it comes with all these beautiful toppers. I mean, look at them. Really fun, great for cards for men, great for mixed media. I mean, I love them for scrapbooking. I use this collection quite a bit. So this is the next collection that we've added or will be adding it to our system for a digital collection because I know a lot of you, especially lovely international crafters, are after us doing more mixed media, sorry, more digital crafting. Uh, Curtis says, I have the time flies and make my sister-in-law her cards with it. It is a great collection and Sonal does agree as well. So this is FB10 and Judy has just ordered the digital and you'll have hours and hours of fun with this collection. Now, I've showed you, because I want to go back to the demonstration in a second. The, the next item is FB1071. I did show you those rice papers earlier, but just to recap, I'm going to use the white canvas because they show up much better. Uh, FB1071 is five rice papers from our bird and also flower collection. And as you can see, beautiful colours. And this is the thing about that. They're not insipid. They're not boring colours. Vibrance, great for canvases, great for mixed media. Bring them into your card making. That is the paper that I used in my demo. Okay, so I used that one as well. So you can see you've got that lovely paper. So you can create fabulous canvases on here. You've got this one with the birds and it has like a vintage feel throughout and you've got the layering. So you can imagine tearing sections off. So if you like the rice papers, you're getting five here, everybody, for that amazing price of $10.99. And these ones here, okay, this is one that to me reminds me of the botanical ones, the journaling effect, so you can mix and match. What was FB1068? Oh, ah, thank you. The blending brush. I'll get to that because I'm going to be using that next. Thank you for that one. So this last one for FB1071 is our rice papers. So thank you for that <laughs> reminder, Pearl. Uh, I obviously got distracted and missed it. So I'll be using this brush. This is our large. I don't know if anybody got them when they first came out. We have... Um, maybe we i don't know i think we have maybe about 40 left in stock uh and so as you can see this is the price for this one so this is fb1068 it's the large blending brush and it's only 3.99 everybody so i'm going to be using this in a second when i just go through the last lot of the items on the show and then we'll go back to the demonstration so fb1068 now how you, it's a soft brush so you how you wash it is with uh, soapy water and um, and you actually leave it to dry gently. Uh, Sandra says she loves the brushes now. They are gorgeous, aren't they? So this one, as I said, is FB68. And we'll go through it a little bit more detail when I come to demonstrate it. So then the next item, uh, we have two more items and it's stamps. Because I know what people are like. They want stamps. So what I have here, somebody mentioned candles earlier. What Bella's done here, she's used the rice papers, okay? And then, I don't know if it picks up. Dave's going to tell me whether it picks up. You can see that bird on there. So the next, oh, wait a minute. I won't do that one because that's not the next item. Um, uh, is this one. 
This one's great because you can stamp a message and put it on your canvases. You have, have a wonderful day, happy birthday, feel better soon. Hope you mean, uh, no, sorry, you mean the world to me. Happy anniversary, thanks for everything, with love, dare to dream, have a fabulous birthday, just because I love you. Hugs and kisses, sending you a hug and a smile, love that one. Praying for you, sending lots of love, special friend, missing you, special wishes, you did it. Sending hugs, it's your birthday, you're amazing, congratulations. I didn't count them. <laughs> So you are getting all those, I'm gonna to have to count them out there. Speak amongst yourselves. I think there was 22, but you could count that if you just want the word birthday, okay? And if it was me, I would actually cut that in three and then use it so you can have the word fabulous on your own. So whatever I said, what was it, 20, you're getting a lot, everybody, for that amazing price. I know the prices are weird. £9.49. Um, Facebook has been terrible tonight, Susan. I don't know what's going on. It is affecting There's some people that are okay. Some people have issues. But, you know, hopefully it'll sort itself out. And uh, I know some of you are on YouTube. So then the last item on tonight's show, before I go back to my demo and finish off the demo... Uh, it is, and I will be going to, I am going to give the canvas away as well. Um, so this one here is um, FB1073. It's our fabulous Sweet Dixie Blossom Bird stamps. And you're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six stamps. And hopefully you can see that on here. Bella's made a candle. What have I missed? Uh... Mandy has put, I can imagine how beautiful a canvas would be using your downloads and CD-ROMs. Definitely. I will put that on the list. Um, loads of you are loving the collections, everybody. So thank you very much. Uh, Mandy says the papers are gorgeous. Do you sell sets of blending brushes or just individual? At the moment, we only have a few left, okay? Uh, Guinness says I'm terrible with stamping. Well, what I'll do is I'll get it... Um, what I'll be doing is I'll do a stamping show later on. Karen says, are rice paper safe when burning candles? So we've put rice paper on there, okay, and we've sunk it in. And to be honest, you should never leave candles unattended, but what you need to make sure is you don't put it too much to the edge. Normally candles burn in the middle. So, I mean, I've never had any issues with tissue paper or rice paper, but it doesn't mean, Karen, that it might not happen. So everybody needs to be careful. So that's a brilliant idea to do that. So that is all the items that we have. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to my canvas. There we go. So hopefully you can see where we are with everything. That's now all dried nicely. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to pick up, if I just move these papers out of the way, I'm going to pick up, I've got some inks. So I'm using my... Oh, make sure I'm using not a clean... Oh, now I don't know. Oh, no, that one's the one I was using. That's a new one. Let's move that one out of the way. So I'm using some Tim Holtz inks. But just to show you, you can use any inks that you have in your crafty stash. So I've gone with vintage browns. And, of course, I've gone with a pink. So this is Distress inks. But also I've got walnut stain as well. And where is the other one gone? I had another one, but never mind. And then what I've got here everybody is uh, just to show you, you can use archival ink as well so what i'm doing everybody is i'm just getting my stencil and i oh is that it so that one's walnut stain oh i've already got that one okay so basically all i'm doing is get my stencil and i'm just adding texture so literally just to show you, you can use any ink so i'm just doing this so what i'm doing is i did have a, a mat i'm just going to use some just an excess now be careful when you add an ink that you don't add too much at one go. So what I mean by that, so let's do this one. So I'm just doing is I'm tapping the ink with a blending brush and then tapping on here. Look how strong that is already. And then just rub gently, okay, in a circular motion. And then if you want more, then just add. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing there. So that has a hint of almost like rusty colour, so it blends in with that. If you want a stronger colour, I have got my, which one's this one? 
This one is vintage photo, so I'm doing exactly the same. I'm going for the dots. I'm just adding them on here, like so. Add more, because I want a stronger colour, okay? And then actually want to add some a bit darker, so I'm just going to add, oops, can I open this? There we go. This one is walnut stain, so I'm just doing exactly the same thing, everybody. Choose, this is a stencil that comes in the kit. So then I'm just going over the paper in the section and just going around the sections and just add in elements. And that's how easy it is. So I'm putting this canvas together between the browns and the pinks. I'm just adding definition going around it. Like, um, I can't remember who said it. It was uh, just adding touches of color, adding layers, choosing what colors you want, bring it all in. I'm going around here so you can see what I'm doing is bringing in textures add in colour elements on top of the paper so you can see you get these type of effects. Oops, I need a little bit more glue on there, just on this bit. I'll leave that last till I come down to here. Um, and so remember, this is all from one kit. So I'm just going to bring that in and I want to blend this into there. So just do circular motion. If you want more colour, just add it, always start off with less and more and get used to the pressure of the blending brush. And this is how easy it is. And then what I'm gonna do is start up here, I'm gonna blend it all in. So what I've done is I've been using this part of my brush and you really shouldn't mix the colors too much but I'm not too bothered about this. I'm gonna pick up some pink on the bottom part and then what I'm going to do is just this. Add some pink into it. Um, just bring the tones in and then use the top part if I want to bring in some brown. So you can see how the canvas now is kind of blending into each other, like so. And you can literally just decide quickly whether you want some more of the brown in, whether you want more of the darker colour. And it's showing you how I've used archival and distress inks. So at the moment, so I'm going to take this off. So remember what I told you earlier is just get your brush with your water like so just tear along there and it tears away look how easy that is and the same with that you can glue it down i'm just going to tear that just go around the areas tear that off so you can see how it's coming together very easy use these you can use them for something else and then what i want to do is you can even stipple some gold paint if you want on there it's entirely up to you bring in stronger colors so i actually want to where's that stencil i want to add some more dots along that with the darker color and then bring it in onto here so bring in some dots and then touch some color up and then slowly you can see how now the top i mean i'll glue that down is now coming together and it just literally this is what you're doing uh, don't forget to at the end of the program as I like seeing you and it's great to watch you I mean I will be finishing and I don't know what that means don't forget to the end of the program I don't know what you mean Carol I think I've missed a conversation somehow um, but yes we are finishing in about five minutes I'm going to finish this canvas off but I just want to show you how easy it is to actually put these together so I'm using this stencil I'm just going to put some lines down here and I'm going to pick up one of the other colors and just literally go around it like so so I'm mixing and matching and also don't forget you can actually finish it off so I've actually put that in there you can see that and then I'm going to add some touch of pink and just very lightly blend that in and you're changing the rice paper and this is what I'm saying you know I start from the top and then I think right actually I want something else there it looks a bit bare so I just then pick up another color bring that in so I start from the top and I work down but there isn't a wrong or right way there really is just your way just have fun experimenting with all these different techniques so you can see how it's coming together lovely I mean I do need to put some more glue on there so you can see how it's coming in and then I actually just want to bring in some of the lighter brown and just so it blends in that pot part there so that way you can see I've done this bit and then to finish off down here is exactly the same thing get some water 
I'll put it on here. Uh, Sharon says, I'll be having a go at this type of mixed media. The results look amazing. I think I will start with a notebook cover. <gasps> Brilliant idea, Sharon. Yes, it doesn't have to be a canvas. The technique can be put on anything. Oh, Philip says, Carol was saying you were inspiring her to do more. Oh, brilliant, Carol. Sorry, I misread that. I mean, look how easy it is coming together, everybody. I mean, yes, um, I mean, I don't know how long it's taken because we've done it in stages and I've been talking. But this, this is why this stencil is fabulous because all I'm doing is with these colours is touching up some colours. What have I picked up while I'm talking? I don't know what I picked up. <laughs> I picked up some colours and I don't know which ones. So basically, what I'm doing is just adding colours to everything, bringing it all into the project. And then you can even add some metallic paints. I actually don't want to put more, I don't actually don't want to put metallic paints on here. So let's get rid of the white. So the trick is to get rid of the white and it's coming together beautifully. This, I think, is needs to go down there. Let's bring this in here. And there we go, everybody. It's coming together lovely. I want some more of these hexagons. I'm going to have them just across there. And just remember, you can dab on some white if you don't want strong colour. And just keep adding. Less is more. Less is more. I think that's the right saying. Well, there you go. Okay. Um, Cheryl says, I've seen rice papers and vases and lampshades on Facebook. Yes, you can have a go at everything. Elaine says, I have everything to do something like this, but not need the confidence to do it. Well, have a go because it is easy. It's coming together beautifully. You don't have to worry about um, overdoing it. What I mean is you can start small and then like, I love the idea of doing a, a book cover because that will be great. I'm adding dots on different elements. You can just keep adding textures to wherever you want. So I'm now picking up this color and I'm putting it there. So you've got different effects. Really, that's all I'm doing, everybody. I'm just adding effects with the stencil. I've got rice papers and then finishing it off with some pink because I want to add pink. So you can see what I've done. So I'm going to actually finish this and obviously glue all the sides down. I'll sign it and I will give this to somebody because I'm going to pick a winner to win this. Okay, but look at that, everybody. That's still a little bit wet, but here's one we did early because then all I did is I put a little thing on there that says make memories, live, love, laugh. How fab's that? Uh, hopefully I've inspired you tonight to have a go at different techniques. Also, don't forget, if you use Mod Podge, if you finish with it, put it in water, which is what I'm going to do. So just to recap on the products that I've just used, uh, and then we will come to the end of this workshop, or should I say this demonstration. We have used, okay, the main item to create the canvas was that kit. Now, it looks like it's done pretty well, okay. I have got on here, the kit is FB. 1065 you get a canvas remember you will get five no you won't get five papers i picked up the wrong papers oh i'm so confused where are the papers that's the wrong one there you go sorry i nearly confused you all so then you have got this paper so that's the one i used okay everybody but then you can actually use those as well then you've got this now remember what i said i've shown you stage two you could just do this one and if you think that you know was easy how about this one I've just put it on and I've stippled that same stencil and then I put dream, love, live and be free. Okay, that was from my crafty stash, some little tiles I had. And you can do that if you want, which is why you've got it in the kit. But then the other one that you've got is that. And what I did to create this one, I used some papers from the set of five and that one, everybody, that is FB1071. And that was the five sheets there you go if i move this out the way you don't get the canvas let's move this out the way five sheets and the five sheets are that beautiful one there okay and then you have got this one on here beautiful everybody that's that lovely paper you know i went with the pink okay and also you have got this lovely rose one and the wisteria. Andrew says you could use the paints for stenciling too. There's loads of different techniques. The options are endless. I, I really need to do some more mixed media now. Brilliant, Andrea. I'm glad I've inspired you. But yes, that is so true. So this is stage three. Okay, you can add. And also I showed you on this one here. 
With that stencil, I used the metallic paint on there and added it on there. So you have that on there. So you can see that you can go crazy. You can start with basic. And for me, in mixed media, there's four stages. Canvases are so much fun. It would cost you a fortune if you had to go and buy that for wall art, okay? Philip says, you make it look so easy. We love your shows. Oh, bless you. Well, it is easy. No, you need to have a go. Hubby says, has just said he has enjoyed this demo. This, I think he may be off to my craft room to give it a go. <laughs> when I'm at work, Denise, that is hilarious, okay? So everybody, don't forget rice paper. You can put them on glass. We're using Mod Podge. So the other item that we have used tonight, just check what if you missed the show. But Mod Podge, £2.33. FB1064 is a must, everybody. It is just so much fun with that. I mean, I've used loads of different products. Don't forget in the kit, you do get that stencil, wherever it is, but obviously your stencil will not look as dirty as that because that's my stencil. And there's other products for you to have a look. I could be here forever, but time's running on and I want to pick some winners and somebody's gonna win the canvas, uh, but I will finish it off and sign it for you, okay? Um, and I'll pick that as well. Right, everybody, are we ready? So let's pick some winners and I will read some of the, oh, Sharon says, did you stick the MDF on with Mod Podge 2? Oh, you mean on there, Sharon? On there, which camera are we looking at? This one, okay. No, we use three in one glue, okay. Uh, Bella used three in one glue to stick the actual MDF on here. But if you've got a hot glue gun, that works really well as well. Because it's heavy and because she's actually got loads of different layers, okay, she did use three in one glue on that one. But Mod Podge, if it's fine, all this was stuck on with Mod Podge. This was all stuck on with Mod Podge, but the heavy items are a little bit too heavy for Mod Podge. Okay, so, uh, right, so let's pick some people, okay, and I'm glad, sorry, I got distracted because Christina says, we'll definitely be trying more mixed media now. Thank you for showing how easy it really is. Oh, brilliant, you've made my day. You've all made my day. All these lovely comments, I really hope I've converted some of you to have a go at mixed media. And I wanted to show you, I don't know where the other cards are. I'm just trying to find where they are. But here is this one. So just to show you, was that one of the pet rice papers? Do you know what? I'm so glad you guys can't see this paper because it's a mess. So look, remember that rice paper? Somebody asked, can you make cards? So this one here, Bella has done the rice paper on craft card and she's actually just put an edging of some metallic paints around there. So it's really good that it's not just for canvases or MDF, you can do card making and even notebooks and memory books with it. Right, everybody, let's pick some people and I will read. I'm glad you all enjoyed the show. So remember, with my Facebook Live shows, I always say don't need to buy. If you want to buy, you can watch the show back. This show is left open until, where are we, Monday night, okay? So on Monday night, this will be processed and we'll start invoicing on Tuesday and you should have all your invoices for tonight's show by next Thursday. The other thing I need to let you know is I am not, remind you, I am not on uh, doing happy hour this coming Monday because I'm busy sorting out the brand new magazine that's due out at the end of the month. Okay, everybody. Oh, Betty says I've converted her as well. Okay, I'll, I'll could be, I'm going to get distracted with all these lovely comments. So I'll read them uh, on the way home. So let's pick somebody who's going to win a uh, like and share. Uh, and then I'll just recap uh, in between about how to actually order and everything because the messages are coming up. So the winner of the like and share is Caroline Dobinson. Caroline, can you please private message me your post address? You have won a little uh, group of goodies, okay? And then I'm gonna pick somebody to win the canvas and then I'm gonna give a present for everybody. So the person, because obviously I've not got many things on tonight's show, so I am going to pick somebody. So the person that I am gonna pick for winning the canvas, it is Marianne Brennan. Well done, Marianne, you have won the canvas. Please make sure you private message me your postal address. And then I'm gonna pick one more person to win uh, a little giveaway, and it will be a surprise MDF. Okay, and that person is Sue Domini. Hopefully, Sue, I've said that right. Uh, congratulations, you've won a little giveaway. Make sure you private message me your postal address. And just rec to recap to the newbies, 
So when you've actually put your codes in this feed, okay, do not put your personal details. After the show, if you have ordered, please private message me your email address and your postal address. Then I can work out whereabouts in the world you are and we can send you an invoice. Then by next Tuesday, what will happen is we will actually send you an invoice, okay, um, that will have everything listed on, that you can click on it, you can take something off, you can delete it, you can add it, uh, but then you can pay by debit card, credit card and PayPal. And then as soon as the orders come through, um, as I would say, we are about a few days behind, but the most, except for the things we're waiting for, we're quite up to date with the orders. We'll get them shipped out as soon as possible. And if anybody has any questions, please private messages or send us an email. However, the quickest way is to contact the office on 01325 465049. And if you're brand new and want to be notified, hopefully Facebook is uh, keeping up to date. Look at the bell on the top, I think it's the top right. There's a little bell that you can click on and you can click on to say notified to be all and you'll be notified. And also don't forget to like my page if you haven't liked my page before. And then you'll get up to date with all the new mixed media products that we're bringing because I'm so excited. Right, and then don't go away because now I need to give a present for everybody. So even though we've done a mixed media show, okay, we uh every i do this every week okay so uh if you've never seen it before you can check it out on our website on the past shows but this is a little present from me to you to say thank you for your continued support we would not be here without you it's to keep you a little bit busy there is a little catch please make a card for somebody or a project for somebody for your key worker for a neighbor for a relative you haven't seen for ages or sell chat or send it for selling cards for charity you're going to receive a kit for nothing okay you'll be able to the notification will go on tomorrow and then what will happen is you'll see the picture on facebook it'll go on um normally it goes on around 1 30 but it might be earlier tomorrow now the code for this week is very easy to remember it's fb for facebook and then mixed m-i-x-d for mixed media now, all you need to do is find, it tells you, we'll put the comments on, you need to go to my website, to debbiemoredesigns.com, and then go into my craft products, and then printable downloads. And because you're all part of my crafting community, you're all members. So that means you need to go into the members section. And then remember today's date, which is the 20th of Jan, no, yes, 20th of January. Lily said February there, 20th of January. And that will tell you the kit that you've got for this week. It's a treasure hunt. It was inspired by my grandfather, bless his soul, who used to do treasure hunts when I was younger. And when we started lockdown just after, I wanted to figure out a way that I could give back to you all and give back to everybody. And this is what started. And loads of you have sent me so many messages that you've had so many hours and hours of fun and you've raised money for charity and you've just really enjoyed it. And this is what I want to do. So it's just a little thank you. There is no catch. Uh, just enjoy the collection. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It is a treasure hunt. You have to hunt for it. Now, if you have any questions, remember to private message or contact the office. But for now, I'm going to say good night. Take care. Stay safe. Happy crafting. Mwah! Much love. God bless you all. And hopefully I'll see you here next Thursday at 6.30 for some more crafting fun with Craft and Chat Thursday with Debbie Moore. Bye bye for now.